Agreed. Agreed. All right. Next topic on the board. Jack Swafford. He is the commissioner of the ACC and the only original BCS commissioner that is left in college football. That's uh, kind of a big deal. We have had three of them, including Jack Swafford, resign or retire in the last five years. Kind of a big deal. that we, We've got some major changes coming to college football over the next five, six years. One of them will be the expansion of the playoffs. Uh, there will be more changes that are coming because you've got new, younger people that are coming in that will be taking over these roles that have different ideas and different mindsets towards what the sport should look like. Swafford's been there forever. I mean, forever. You know, it, it's good that he's uh, that he's headed out, that he's doing but his But all thing. of the commissioners before him were there forever of all these other conferences as well. Yes, and that's that's what I'm saying. So when, when mean, the, college... the reason they're all changing now is because the people that were there were there for a long time, and now it's finally time to move on. Yes, and they, they finally got things set up the way that they want. They got the playoff put in, the 14 playoff. However, because they are no longer there to vote against expanding the playoff, now this is just one step closer to getting the playoff put in. Uh, ben said 64-team playoff. Absolutely not. I don't think we're going that far. Like, I, I'm a proponent of a 16. I don't even think we're getting that. I think we're going to get eight, and we'll just see where it goes from there. Damian jumps in, said, what's up? Yeah, uh, Michael finally jumps in. He said, what's up, fellas? Yeah, I, we're a little earlier today, and it's going to be a shorter show than usual. But, obviously, you see my location. You see what's going on here. So, uh, with Jack Swafford out, that uh, that's the end of the BCS era. That's the end of... The, the commissioners that were really there to push for a four-team playoff or just a playoff period, uh, I think it's it's a good thing. I mean, we're moving in the right direction. Swafford, you know, the protector of North Carolina, basically. I'm curious what the next one is going to look like, what we're going to do going forward. I mean, we'll see. You know, Jim Delaney was the uh, the last really big-time power figure. That, uh, that retired, and now Swafford is the the last of the bunch. I'm curious. You know, the ACC, uh, it needs help. It needs help in a lot of areas, not basketball-wise, but with football, uh, you got Clemson and then nothing else. So they, they need a little help, and, you know, I think moving into the next realm will be good. I think it'll be good. Uh, Michael said it's 102 in Cali. Just got off the course. 102 degrees. Like it's it's what eighty five here. I don't know. It's hot here though. It's it's pretty warm, but it's 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 muggy warm. It's like yeah, Lee Ben said same here. One hundred two played eighteen today. That's what I'm talking about. You guys getting to go out and play golf? That's a we poor bastards here in Mississippi got to work. I don't know what that's about. All right, uh, last topic of the day, and and the day has flown by. Not a not a lot of massive topics to discuss. And again, short show, but wanted to get in anyway. You know how it goes. Um, Damien said, why not cut the playoffs to 11 teams? Well, that would be expanding it to 11 teams, right? I, I mean, wait, you take every conference champion and then one wild card? I don't know how that would work. I don't know. Anyway, I'm not sure what he's talking about. Uh, Michael said, dry heat. Yeah, dry heat. I'm 